Welcome back to the Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Burning Paris Suicidal. So the last video was a bit of a depressing one, right? We talked about uh, negative stuff. We're going to try and be be positive in this one, okay? It's still going to be the same kind of topic, because uh, honestly, that's what's on my mind right now, is uh, is this change over to the new channel and all this. Um, if you missed the last video, which you probably didn't you're probably gonna miss this one because it's the uh, 8 p.m. version <laughs> this is the 8 p.m. video and that's the one that gets less views definitely um, anyway if you missed the if you missed the last video um, this channel is going to be exclusively kf2 like this kf2 series now we won't have any other content on this channel uh, and then we're gonna have another channel opening up that has all of the other content on the channel including um, a new Minecraft series if you're into that and uh, we're not gonna have too too much content on the channel like it's not gonna be daily videos of anything I don't think um, but uh, we'll, we'll be having um, all, all of the non KF2 content will go on that channel just because of some age restriction stuff that are starting to hit me and then I just want to preemptively kind of avoid before we start investing too much into the, the stuff here and then get committed to it and have to make a, a really hard decision that I would really not want to make at that point um, but you know, at the same time with with all that uh, is bad you know you, you can find you can find the the light at the end of the tunnel you can find the silver lining you know what's the silver lining here well it's kind of renewed my motivation for YouTube as a whole it's bad right like definitely I am being affected negatively, but this this negative impact that I, uh, that that I'm that is happening is is also definitely affecting me in a positive way because I'm I'm motivated now to set up this new channel uh, to to give a big middle finger to also well we'll get into it okay um, I'm motivated to give a big middle finger to YouTube and set up this new channel get. Uh, Still not going to be, I'm still not marking it as child-oriented content, like it's not made for kids. Um, I'm, it'll be fine to watch with your kids, I'd imagine. Um, like all, not all of the content over there, like it's not a kid-friendly channel, but uh, a lot of the content kids could watch, I guess. I'm not sure they'd understand a lot of what's going into it, but <laughs> they could watch it. It wouldn't scar them for life. Um... But, uh, anyway, we'll, we'll be having that channel coming up. I'm motivated to, to make that kind of content. I'm motivated to get started on it and move, uh, move things around and, and get it all planned. As stressful as it is, as, as nerve-wracking and anxiety-inducing as it is to be starting a new channel basically from nothing, um, it is, I have, I have some, some semblance of motivation kind of, uh, because of it. So that's, that's definitely a good thing. The other good thing is uh, I don't really care about this channel's success. So, uh, you know, obviously I care about the KF2 series as, uh, in and of itself. You know, like that's definitely uh, an important thing to me, right? Like like I've talked before, dude, the KF2 series itself is, is highly important to me. But this channel, it's this, this channel's success, doesn't matter, dude. Okay? This, this channel, uh, none of it matters anymore, you know? And, and that kind of changes the way that I, I kind of look at the content and the way that I kind of make the content, you know what I mean? Like, before, I was, uh, I was afraid of saying things like, fuck, because I don't want to, I don't want to exclude people who don't like that kind of stuff. And, uh, if I did it, accidentally sweared a little bit too much in, uh, in a video, I'd, uh, I'd just re-record. Because I was like, I don't want to exclude people. I don't normally swear that much anyway, so don't expect this to be like a, a potty mouth channel now, you know. But uh, definitely expect a, a little bit more sometimes if it comes through. I'm not going to care if it accidentally pops up because it just doesn't matter anymore. It's not uh, It's not impacting my life so much. I still want people to watch the videos, you know. Like, I, st I still don't want to exclude people. It's just uh, I'm not really, like, uh, pressured into into succeeding with the KF2 series so much. Um, I don't have to worry about like YouTube metrics on the KF2 series. And there's a lot of videos, okay? 
you look at all these metrics of all the different videos and like why did this one perform better why did this one perform better you try and like figure things out it doesn't matter dude it doesn't matter I was uh, stressing about how to get uh, new people watching and stuff it doesn't matter I don't care um, this is now the KF2 series is is from this point onwards um, exclusively a hobby and and it was kind of a hobby before you know um, wherein uh, I only did it because I wanted to but I also kind of had the the feeling of wanting to turn it into a career and now that's gone with the KF2 videos it's gone it doesn't matter now we'll still be talking about YouTube as a whole in a lot of the videos because I'm still gonna be doing all that kind of stressing out over stuff on the uh, on the well, I guess main channel um, but uh, over here I just it doesn't matter if I don't if I don't get people watching or whatever it doesn't matter this isn't for you so much it's more of a it's a way for me to kind of get things off my chest I don't get to talk to people all that often in my life I mean I don't get to talk uh, I go Typically on the weekends, I, I don't talk at all. Like it's my days off, and I, I actually genuinely don't say a word for for a lot of the weekends. So it's Thursday today, tomorrow's Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I may not speak a word. There's there's a, a very, it's a non-zero chance, and it's not like a two percent chance. Okay, it's like a 60, 70 percent chance. I just won't say a word at all over the course of the weekend because I just don't talk. Um, and it's not because I don't have anybody to talk to, it's I can't talk, I've been over it before, I'm, I'm selectively mute, as it were. Um, but I just, I don't have to, I don't have to worry about stuff on this channel anymore, that's kind of, that's kind of nice. Um, I'm motivated to, to get the new channel up and running, that's going to also be very nice. Um, let's see. Let's see, um... I don't know what else comes out of it that's good. I'm trying to think of things that come out of it that are good, and that's that's really all I've got currently. Um, I, I, you know, it's not all that we have to talk about. That's good though. I've got. Um, I'm feeling excited to get into a Minecraft series. I've uh, kind of been hyping myself up over it. And I gotta just sit down and actually play it because otherwise I'm gonna overhype myself and then be let down. <laughs> um, but I have been uh, I have been getting excited about making a new Minecraft series. Um, like, I'm not recording any Gunfire Reborn today. I normally would, and even though I don't necessarily... I mean, I want to record it. Um, I just... I don't know. Like, it's... I don't know. I'd have fun recording it. I just... I don't really feel like it right now. Um, too much pressure. And I just... Whatever, dude. It's not gonna hurt my life. It's not gonna hurt my living. It's not gonna hurt my life. It's not gonna hurt uh, at all. Because this channel doesn't matter. And that's not gonna happen to KF2 series. Because, again, I care about the KF2 series itself. But uh, the, the channel doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, dude. And that's a uh, strange feeling because I've not had that feeling since I've uh, started making these videos, really. Um, and then we're going to have the new channel and I'm going to have those exact same stressors, uh, just about a different channel, but, you know, whatever. It'll, it'll be fine. Um, but I'm excited to get onto a Minecraft series. I've got a lot of plans for it. I haven't played Minecraft since... 114 or 115 I can't remember which one um, so there's a whole bunch I think it's 115 that I last played so there's a whole bunch of new stuff like the nether updates um, might have been 114 I'm not sure uh, the nether update is new there's like some new redstone stuff and all kinds of uh, all kinds of good stuff so yeah lots of new stuff and uh, I gotta say I'm excited to get into it and, and play around. I have not, like I said, not played in the Nether update at all. I've seen videos of it. I still watch Etho play Minecraft, um, and so he's he's shown off uh, the Nether in a couple of his videos. It looks really really exciting to get into it. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm definitely excited about uh, starting up the series, and that's 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 you know also a good thing to to talk about. At this, uh, at, in this time of uh, of, of uh, mourning, um, let's see. I got, I got a couple of plans. So my uh, my current plans for Minecraft are, I want to have a vanilla series. We'll have the vanilla series going for I don't know, like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 episodes or something. Like that. It's gonna go forever. Well, hopefully, 
um, you know, like that. That's not. I'm not saying we're gonna end it after 30, 40 episodes, but after 30, 40 episodes, I might think about uh, introducing like a modded series, uh, either my own modded series or or I'll download like a Terraforma Craft modded series kind of thing. I love Terraforma Craft. Um, might play some of that. Um, So we'll have, uh, end up having the modded stuff and the vanilla stuff after I've kind of gotten to a swing of things of editing the videos and, and getting it all together. Um, later on, this is much later on, by the way, but, uh, you know, maybe uh, I'd want to say, like, a year or two from now. Um... We'll have, we'll have grown to a, a pretty respectable size with, with the Minecraft videos, RuneScape videos and stuff. We'll have grown to a, a fairly respectable size, I'd expect, in a in a year or two of, uh, of time. Um, First batch of Zeds heading your way. So we'll, we'll be able to uh, we got go, for, go for some yeah, things like, cool. uh, for instance, a server, a multiplayer server kind of thing. I'll still have the single player and the uh, odd modded series. Yeah, it, I'm not sure we'll run the modded series all the time, but uh, there, will, there will definitely be a, uh, a recurring kind of, uh, you know, play a modded series and then kind of get bored of it, stop playing it for a while, find maybe a, a survival map or something to play on and, um, you know, carry on like that kind of thing, right? Uh, in about a, a year or two, I would expect that we'll be at a size that is reasonably respectable. I don't know, might, might be getting few hundred to a few thousand views on uh, on each video I would expect like like I've like I've said before typically my my Minecraft videos now this is starting on a new channel too so I don't know how it's gonna go but uh, on this channel anyway typically my my Minecraft videos get about 30 to 70 hundred views ish I'm somewhere in that neighborhood um, already so so if I can do that then a year or two I can probably grow to a couple hundred to a couple thousand you know minimum to high sort of thing um, Somewhere, somewhere in that range would uh, by by a, a year or two from now, uh, and then we can work on joining a multiplayer server. Either joining an existing one, kind of similar to uh, I've always dreamed of being on a server that was similar to like Hermitcraft, um, because I really love that uh, that role playing kind of uh, hello phone that role playing kind of uh, thing, you know. Where, where everybody's kind of in the server, you got your, your shops and and your businesses and, and politics and all this kind of stuff that goes on on the server that I really personally um, like, you know? Um, so we'd either, I don't know, dep depending on how big we are, we might have the, the leeway to, to possibly join the Hermitcraft server at that time or make our own kind of themed along a similar vein with, with other people who have uh, similar ideals. Either way, you know, we'll be on a a server similar to uh, to that kind of stuff. I don't know, like, it's a year year or two away, right? Like, I don't know what happens. Maybe maybe by that point we end up uh, just naturally ending up with, with some people from the Hermitcraft server playing playing some games with them or whatever. I don't know. It's a year, year or two away, you know? Like, it's... You know, that, that would be my dream, would be to, to end up on... Um, a pre-existing server, just so that I don't have to do the management kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> but if I uh, if I can't, which is the more likely scenario, because you know those are typically tight-knit groups, and you don't really want to. Well, you can't really force your way in. It has to kind of happen naturally, kind of ish. Um, then uh, we'd be able to to go with. Um, making our own or whatever which is, is also fine but that's kind of the the plan there so we, we've got the the plan laid out for the the minecraft stuff the other thing with minecraft is that um a lot of the work that goes into a minecraft video is done off camera right so for 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 kf2 right like the amount of content like i'm making about seven hours of content a day right now well not now but before the, the great apocalypse of, uh, of 2020 that, that hit my channel and, and destroyed everything. Before that, which was largely demotivation. Um, before that, 
uh, you know, I was making about seven hours of content today. All of that was me talking, okay? And it was all content. So I made seven hours of content, you could watch seven hours of content. It was all there, available. Uh, with Minecraft and, and RuneScape, the, uh, the interesting thing about them is that there is a lot of time that goes into making the video, but not all of it is talking. A lot of it is off-camera work. Um, so while it is a busy job and a time-consuming job to be making Minecraft videos, to make making RuneScape videos, a lot of that time is spent like in your own free time, right? Like that's that's kind of how it works, sort of thing, you know. So like with with KF2 at 2 a.m., I I can't be recording, right? So I, I typically go to sleep around 1 or 2 a.m. and uh, from about 8 o'clock at night until 2 a.m. So that's like a six hour period of time every single day basically um, that I can't work because uh, I have to be quiet. Whereas with uh, with Minecraft and RuneScape, with both of those, I can still be working during those times and it's like not, I don't have to talk, I don't have to do any of that kind of stuff. I just get to kind of chill out and, and play some games and then whenever something particularly interesting happens, just like you know, in RuneScape anyway, um, just hit Alt F10, record the last minute, and then uh, edit it together with some, some commentary. And then uh, whenever something particularly interesting happens in Minecraft, I could just, well, do the same if it was like a death to a creeper or something. Um, but typically when something interesting happens in, in Minecraft, you can just like wait until you can talk. Because <laughs> it, 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 there's nothing really that's super reactive, you know? It, it's fairly, this happened, what's your turn? You know what I mean? So... Anyway, um, the, the moral of the story here is that uh, with that sort of like differently formatted content where, where a lot of the time is spent off camera, or at least not talking, um, I could more easily have a job at the same time, which means I could move out sooner. So that's another good thing. Um, I wouldn't have to be so reliant on, on like, pushing for YouTube to be my thing. Um, and, like, sacrificing my ability to live on my own. I could get a job, work at that job, and, uh, end up just fine because a lot of that time would be spent, you know, after work just playing some Minecraft. Or after work just, just playing some RuneScape, you know, like, whatever, right? So, so it kind of gives me a little bit of extra of leeway. Which is also kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to get into it. It's just very unfortunate how it had to happen. Very unfortunate indeed how it had to happen. But I am excited about the changes that are becoming. I am motivated and uh, that's a good thing. This is really the moral of the story. So yeah, I've got I've got some plans for Minecraft. Got some plans for Minecraft. You know, yes, my, my goal. <laughs> not my goal. I, I wouldn't call it a goal. Um, wouldn't even call it a dream necessarily, but the ideal situation, I guess, would be to make my way onto the, the Hermitcraft server eventually, just because I really like the dynamic that they have, and it would be really, really fun to be a part of that if such a thing happens. Um, and if it doesn't, then, uh, I don't know, like the, the part that I've, I've run Minecraft servers in the past, and the issue I have with running them is it's just really hard to find a group of people who are good. Not necessarily good at Minecraft, but a group of people who are, are going to kind of follow those those unwritten rules or even written rules of uh, of the roleplay, of of following along. You know, like you watch, uh, you watch the Hermitcraft videos and they'll have like conspiracies going on in their videos that they're hiding from other people. And it's like you know that the people they're hiding the conspiracies from are watching their videos and they know what's happening. You know, like they're not dumb. Right, like they, they understand what's what's going on, but um, for the for the sake of content, they play along. You know what I mean? And uh, finding people who are going to, to play along with that kind of stuff, finding people who are going to have fun with that, and and uh, kind of turning it into like not necessarily a play because you're you're still playing Minecraft and, and having fun with it, um, but but kind of turning it into adding in conflict and 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 interesting things. Um, finding people are going to do that is, is very, very hard, okay? Finding one or two 
easy finding like 20 30 <laughs> not easy um so that's that's why i want to join the the hermitcraft server b before making my own not because Ooh, i want to be on the hermitcraft server no because i just like Putting in the amount of work required to find those people is like not easy, um, but that's also why I would probably not be able to join the Hermitcraft server at that time. I mean, I don't know what happens in a year and a half, two years, you know, like who knows? But they have to be restrictive so that they get the good people who are going to play along and have fun. You know what I mean? Like that's how it works. And, and over, you know, eight years or something like that like you, you slowly add in people and, and you, you grow to uh into the monstrosity that they are now and i just i don't want to invest the eight years into it i want to just kind of cheat and get ahead of it which is why i'd happily join another server if uh if they had similar things kind of going on which would also be fine because again like i don't really care about you know, it's not like i want to i want to play with etho i don't i want to play with you know no like i just it's just uh they already have that thing built, you know. Why, why reinvent the wheel? You know what I mean. Um, anyway, that's kind of my plan. We'll see how it goes. For now, though, all I have to worry about is making a vanilla Minecraft series. I don't have to worry about the modded series. I don't have to worry about the multiplayer series. I do want a multiplayer series eventually um, because I really, really love the kind of dynamic it adds to the videos, and it's really, really good. Um, like marketing to be on a multiplayer server and, and be making collaborations it's easy to find collaborations together which is which is very very good um as a small youtuber i wouldn't be bringing much to the table but <laughs> you know um start somewhere right anyway um so definitely a multiplayer server eventually um just because but that's that's why it's got to be like a ways away so that i have a bit of an audience to bring in so i'm not like nobody but at the same time I, I really want that kind of dynamics. It's just fun to, to play with other people, you know what I mean? Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.